In this video, we're going to install WordPress on Apache server all in Ubuntu using the LAMP stack. That's Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP with PHP MyAdmin as the administrative user interface to administer the database. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, we should always update our package repositories and our packages. So let's sudo apt update double ampersand sudo apt upgrade tack y. To get WordPress running, we have to install Apache and MySQL server and all these PHP dependencies. So let's go ahead and I made it really easy for you. You can just copy and paste these into your terminal and we will come back when these are finished installing. Okay, now that our dependencies are finished installing, we want to verify that our Apache 2 default page is working properly. So let's open up another tab and navigate to, uh, you can navigate to localhost if you're doing this locally or if you're doing it on a VM or another machine, you can just navigate to the local IP address where that is located. And if you see this page, you got it working. So that's really, really good. So now what we want to do now that we verified is before we install WordPress, we need to create the files. I'm sorry, we need to create the directories where we're going to uh, host and serve the files. So we're going to start by making this var www.html. So uh, that directory, so that's sudo make directory tac p var www.html. And then after that, we need to change the ownership uh, to the user www-data. So that's sudo chown for change ownership, www-data, and then a colon, and then var www.html, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the latest tar file from WordPress using curl, and then we're going to unzip that into that same file. So let's copy and paste that command, or you can do it by hand if you want. But once it's done, we can verify that it was uh, downloaded by navigating to the HTML, the var www HTML folder, and then listing, and we notice, we see we have WordPress. So then we can change our directory to WordPress, and we see that we have downloaded all of those files. So that's really great. So um, in the base Apache server, we have uh, configuration files. So what we need to do is we need to set up the configuration for WordPress. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a WordPress configuration. This is gonna be a blank configuration. And you can either use nano or use the T command, which is very similar to stream edit that will just drop all of this text or this configuration into this file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sudo T that file that we that file that we just created and drop in this uh, default configuration. Now, if you want to verify that it's in there, you can um, you can read the file with cat and that's going to be an Etsy Apache 2 sites-available uh, wordpress.configuration and we see here that it is actually in the file. So there we go. Now what we need to do is we need to enable that WordPress site. That's Apache 2 enable site WordPress and then Apache 2 disable that default page which is this page right here. And then we're going to enable rewrites for some stuff that we're going to do later. So let's do sudo apache2 enable site and then we're going to enable WordPress and don't worry about reloading apache2 because we're going to do that when we're done with this. So then we're going to do sudo apache2 disable site and then 000-default and then we're going to enable this apache2 enable modification and then we're going to enable rewrites. Okay, now we can um, reload the Apache web server. So that's sudo system uh, CTL reload Apache 2. And then let's go ahead. Oh, I, let's see, sudo system CTL reload Apache 2. And then sudo system CTL restart. Apache 2. And now once we refresh this page, the initial WordPress configuration prompt should display and this page should be disabled. So let's refresh that. 
and there we go so now we are not quite ready to install the rest of wordpress now we need to configure the database and then connect the database to our wordpress installation before we continue so now what we need to do is one of those dependencies that we installed was mysql server so let's get into the server and that's sudo mysql dash u for user and then root and then now we are in the sql database and we need to issue some commands in order to create that database so this is going to be all caps create database and then we're just going to call it wordpress for now and don't forget the colon i'm sorry the semicolon for terminating that command and then for now um, you can change this i would highly recommend changing this you can either do this in the command now or do it after the fact but especially if you're going to be hosting a public server or public wordpress blog uh, I would definitely make sure that these are changed. But we're, for now, since this is just a tutorial, we're gonna leave the user as admin and the password as default password. So for now, we'll just copy and paste that. And now we need to grant the user admin all of these privileges to our WordPress database. So let's just go ahead and grant select. Let's don't let's not forget the semicolon. So we're gonna grant the privileges or the abilities of select, insert, update, delete, create, drop, and alter on our WordPress database with the user admin. And uh, one thing I forgot here, we should flush the privileges and then we can just go ahead and exit. And then now that we're back to the main terminal, we can start the MySQL service with sudo service MySQL start. And there we go. So now what we need to do, now that we have the database initialized, now we need to connect the back end to our WordPress uh, site. So there is a sample configuration uh, that comes with the uh, WordPress uh, tar file and basically we're just going to copy that sample configuration into an actual configuration that we're going to use to connect the database. So let's go ahead and create that and then what you can do is you can issue these commands individually or you can do what we're about to do now and that's use nano to edit them uh, in the file itself. So sudo nano and we know it's var www html and that's wordpress slash wp config dot php and this is the file that we just created. So this stream edit that we have here, basically this command is just going to locate where we have database name here, username here and password here, you can see that. And then it's gonna insert what, uh, what you choose, what you have right now. Right now, we just named the database WordPress, the user administ uh, admin, and the password default password. I'm gonna go ahead and update these by hand. So we named the database WordPress, and we created a user admin. And then we changed the password to default password. Now what we need to do is we have authentication keys that need to be unique to your WordPress installation. Luckily, WordPress has their own API that you can just visit. This is all in my blog. And you can see here that these are randomly generated. So I can click refresh as many times as I want to get a full set of keys. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this into the same section where we have these default put your unique phrase here keys. So we're just gonna go ahead and I tend to do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete these. If I can get over there and then copy and paste them. And because this is a tutorial and this blog is not going live, I'm not terribly worried about it. Since we're in nano, I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite that file and then exit. And now we're almost done. Now we're gonna install PHP MyAdmin to act as the user interface so that we don't have to make changes via the console on uh, MySQL server. So essentially we're gonna install PHP MyAdmin and these other dependencies that are required to run it. So we'll just copy and paste that in there and let it run. It shouldn't take too long. 
And then once this is done, oh, don't forget to hit the space bar so you can uh, rest or this is so you can um, update uh, the Apache server with PHP my admin. So select space for Apache 2 and then hit enter. Um, and then we're just going to use this DB config common. So just select yes. And then you can change this, but this is for the user interface on PHP my admin. I'm just going to leave it as default password. And then we'll just enter that again and let it finish installing. And then we're gonna go ahead after that and enable these modifications. Um, this is for PHP MyAdmin, but this headers modification is gonna be for later when we harden the WordPress site as well as the database. So now that we are done there, let's sudo php enable mod mb string, and then sudo apache2 enable mod headers, and that's for later. And then now we're going to restart Apache with sudo system CTL restart Apache 2. Now everything should be connected. So let's navigate back to this. And I'm just going to refresh here just so everything is up to date. And you'll get this what seems like an error page. It's not a big deal. Just click on installing now and it'll take you back here. I just do it to clear out, you know, to make sure that everything is up to date and the files are being served properly. Now we can finish our, our WordPress installation. So we'll click continue. And for site title, I'm just going to call it the same name as my forwarded, huh? The same name as my website, portforwarded.com. And since this is a tutorial, I'm not really that concerned about usernames and passwords, but make sure that your username, uh, at least your password is secure. So for now, we're going to go ahead and confirm the use of a weak password. And uh, it doesn't really matter uh, what this is. So we're gonna go ahead and finish installing WordPress. I'm not gonna save that here and this should bring us to the administration page. So, or before, so now we need to log in and then we're just gonna log in with the username and password that we created. Don't save, not terribly worried about that. And here we are. Now you can start writing blog posts and uh, it, uh, installing plugins and themes and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and log out. And then we'll travel back again to our WordPress installation to verify that it is working properly, which it is. And now we want to double check that PHP my admin installed correctly and that we can have administrative access to our database. So at the end of your uh, local IP address, you just type in forward slash PHP my admin, hit enter, and it will bring you to the PHP my admin login page. And we created our username and password with with admin and default password. And this should give us access to the database administration. That's all you need to install WordPress on Apache on Ubuntu. In the next video, we're gonna cover things like SSL and TLS and how to harden your website a little bit with things like fail to ban and mod security. Should be fun.